This is going to be part three of this 40 dB power tap series in which I'll first inject the signal into this OLED watt meter and I'll adjust the level of the signal to 0 dB. Then I'll connect the tap and the watt meter together. I'll move the signal generator over to here. And while I'm doing this, the output from the tap will be terminated in a uh, 50 ohm termination. And I'm going to do the test at 50, 200, and 400 megahertz. I have my signal generator set at 200 megahertz. I've adjusted the output until I get a zero here and I'm feeding the generator directly in to this input. This is a little wrench that I've got for SMA connectors. I saw them for sale. I thought they were actually a physical would push on, but they're loose. But it's a lot easier on my fingers to turn this than this. I'm going to move the output from the signal generator to the input or one of the pass-through connections on the 40 dB tap. The other side of the pass-through I've terminated in a 50 ohm termination. And now I'll put the output from the 40 dB tap into the little OLED watt meter. It certainly is a 40 dB tap. This was reading one tenth of a dBm and it's now reading minus 40.2 which is certainly within the accuracy of the resistive divider that we used in the 40 dB tap. So it actually is a 40 dB tap. In fact, it's more accurate than I thought it was. Now let me return the hookup. I'll change the signal generator to 400 megahertz. I'll reprogram the little watt meter to 400. So there it's reading about 0 dBm, 400 megahertz. I'll again redo the, so that the 40 dB tap is installed. So the attenuation at 400 megahertz is closer to 41 decibels. I'll take the signal generator down to 50 megahertz. I'll reconnect the signal generator to the input. And we'll see the signal generator is about a half a dBm high. Let's see if I can work that down. It's closer to zero. I reinsert the 40 dB attenuator. And we were about zero dBm with the 40 dB attenuator. Tap. 
Remember that's what we're doing. Installed, we're down at 39.9, 39.8. So I would say this is a 40 dB attenuator, almost perfect. Some random thoughts that occurred to me. If I were going to build this tap again, I would mount these SMA connectors at a 45 degree angle. That would place these screws, well really the nuts, above and below this inductor plate. Now you see when the original design was, was developed the screws were above the inductor plate and below because they used four bolts to hold this end connector on. If these were mounted at a 45 degree angle this screw would be above the plate and this one below it. The other thing I would do I would buy I'd stay with the 1 watt resistors but I would buy 1% resistors and for this termination resistor I'd use a half a watt resistor instead of a a 1 watt resistor it's, it physically would fit better now as far as getting the kinks out of here it's not too easy to see but it looks like to me that they bent the leads right tight at a right angle to the body of the resistor then instead of lapping the leads like I did they butted them like this and then they soldered them and, and trimmed them off flush that would allow the resistors to be closer together straightening out this kinked line of course it's always easier to do it the second time if you've liked this three-part series on the tap and it spills over into the OLED watt meter, if you like that kind of stuff, uh, post me a comment, subscribe to my site, or at least come back. Thank you.